Okay. Oh, and then, oh my God. Wow. Gee whiz. What was that? You're not going to wrestle me, are you? Well, that was the giant warrior carrying me in in style. I hope that was in style. But good evening, South Africa. Good evening, folks. You are in, you are in for a great evening, and our listeners at home, enjoy it. WrestleMania, that's what we're going to be talking about. But let's meet some of South Africa's wrestlers here. Uh, let's call in Jason the Terrible. Where's Jason the Terrible? Dirty Angel. Whoa, my gosh, what was that? Dirty Angel, you've been throwing my stuff around here. What does I know? It's a chain. <laughs> Who's the next one there? Uh, sunny, sunny Surf. Where's Sunny Surf? <laughs> Terry Maddox. <laughs> Bursian, or Varus Bursian. Whoa! The Wolfman! Where's the Wolfman? Prince of Africa! Boy, oh boy! <laughs> Black Bullet! <laughs> oh boy, huh? She was. I feel like a queen around. I feel safe around these men. I've, don't you think I'm safe? <laughs> Okay, let me start talking quickly to the Wolfman. Let's find out. Why did you take on that persona? Because I feel like a wolf. What does it mean? I'm coming from the Black Forest, from the dark side of Germany, and I'm the Wolfman. And your name is Bullet. Black Bullet of Why Nigeria. Why do you take Black Bullet? Because I love the name, you know. My name is Bullet. I'm a black guy. That's why I answer Black Bullet. Wrestling and, and black men. Somehow, I mean, you have to be, I thought you had to be this tall, like Bursian and uh, giant uh, warrior to, to wrestle. Uh, you know, uh, coming to Africa, we are not so tall like American guys. Yeah. We always shot, we, uh, we did a lot of things, you know. That's why we like to join wrestling. Like that. So you take them from the bottom yeah, rather than from, from the top, huh? From down. <laughs> from down. <Yeah. laughs> Explain that chain. What does the chain mean? The chain means revenge to anybody that comes in my way. Oh. You too. Me too. <laughs> what are you in your mountain? What's that in your mouth? It's black in the mouth there. You didn't brush your teeth. You have condensed milk in your milk or your coffee. This is black. Ooh. So that's what you do. You lick them, huh? When you, when you wrestle them. Lick who? Your, your opponent. <laughs> Yeah, I lick them after the fight. Uh, Once they lick that, so then I start licking them. That is, so why this persona? Well, the dirty angel in that. Mm -hmm. I'm an angel, but in the ring, anything counts. That's why the dirty angel has uh, got that name. Hmm. All right. What's up? He won't talk to you. He won't talk to me. Why? Can you talk for him? I can't talk for you, but he won't talk for you. Oh, Lord. That's how angry he is, huh? He's not angry. He just, he's not angry. He just wouldn't talk to you. There's a bit of a political situation over here, but uh, he won't talk to you. Oh, 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 you think I belong to a wrong party, huh? Or something. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm lost. I'm, I'm not sure. 
Giant warrior. What does that mean? Well, I think it pretty well speaks for itself. Yeah, you didn't want me to go and sit in a turner. The last time I came close and you pushed, you kind of blocked the way. Why? Well, you know, there are important people and then there's important people. Are you trying to say I'm not important? You said it. <laughs> <laughs> but Giant Warrior, how did you come up with that name? Obviously, you're big. Well, I mean, that's where Giant came from. Uh -huh. The war paint. Uh -huh. So that's where Giant Warrior originated. So we're going to see you in action very soon. It's, prob it's a good probability. Coming from the United States, that's my only understanding or my only, uh, what's the right word, um, knowledge of wrestling. Um, is it m more famous there? I think it's more famous in the United States simply because of television coverage. I mean, that, ten that makes wrestling throughout the world. If you've got TV, then wrestling is popular. So it's catching up in South Africa. Let's hear from Bursian. Is it catching up in South Africa or is it caught up already? Yeah, I think so. How did you get into it? Hell, man. <laughs> <laughs> I want to wrestle from a long time ago, professional wrestling. And how did you come up with the name Bursian? Um, I can see he is a boor. Yeah, I yeah. guess a yeah. boor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah yes. So do you enjoy wrestling though? Yeah, Tell very us a little much. bit more. How did you get into it? I always went to the Wembley Stadium and watched when All Stars wrestling. And one, night, one night I meet uh, Paul, the promoter, and ask him, he says, no, you must come over. Mm -hmm. And so I went there and he, some of the guys training me and then I started wrestling there. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing some more of that. And what is your name? Danny Brits. Danny Brits. Danny, you don't have one of those names. Who come? No, I'm the ex-tornado. I'm the real tornado, not the like tornado. No, two, I'm the ex-tornado. And that's six, five, six years. And it was in 87. I took my mask off because I had to wrestle for a world title. And a board of control, that, that was there. There was a board of control that was actually over the wrestlers and uh, I had to take my mask off. Mm. But so you, the tornado, in the that's ring, you act like what, huh? That's right. Are we going to be seeing a little bit of that? You will see all of that. All sure. right. And? Sunny Surf. From Sunny Bill. Surf. Sunny, Sunny Surf, let's come closer here. Oh, so you're the surf boy. Oh, yep. I can see that. All the way from Durban. Uh, best city. The best city. That's Durban. true. That's true. Beautiful. But um, how did you get into it? And how did you come up with the name Sunny Surf? I mean, knowing coming that you come from Durban, that's understandable. Uh, well, I used to, I was born in Durban, right on the beach, in the Eddington Hospital there. So I uh, started off with a little bit of amateur racing, like these little guys in the ring, like in the, in the audience. Yeah. But then obviously I got a bit bigger and I decided the sea is more my thing. Uh -huh. So I went into the surfing. And I had a lot of good times in the sea, but then I got a bit heavy. So the surfboard started sinking. <laughs> So I decided, no, it's time to get out of this. I've got to get into something tougher. Mm -hmm. And I decided I'll take up wrestling. Started in the West Street Stadium in Durban, and here I am today. Bonjour, mm. Felisa. Bonjour. Bonjour. Comment ça va, madame? That's why I touched you, because I know you're French, man. Ça, ça. Oh, yeah. All the way from France, yes. All the way from France. That's right. Are you enjoying wrestling? Yes, very much. Why do you get it? I mean, I thought French men are lovers, not fighters. No, I, I am a lover mm -hmm. outside the ring, but then I become a wrestler in the ring. See? <laughs> and I'm, the difference between them and me, oh. I, I'm natural. <laughs> I'm, I'm a ladies' man. I don't need paint. I don't need shame. I'm natural. You gonna need it? Whoa. Hey, you, come on, your next. Your next. Relax, relax. Whoa. You? You know what I mean? He's a natural runner. <laughs> so he runs away. He what? You're a natural runner. You always run away from us. Oh, well, J just wait for me to get out of here first. I'll protect you, Felicia. You, you protect me. Yes. <laughs> okay. Oh, wee, oui, what was that? <laughs> hey, they look, they look bigger than mine. <laughs> Prince of Africa, huh? Yes. From Zimbabwe. Sure. I mean... Stuff. This is hard stuff. Yeah, I see. I mean, it's hard stuff. I've been seeing this uh, since, I mean, I was born. But uh, it was a sport of uh, white guys only. Mm -hmm. Then uh, I tried to ask someone who can teach me. Then I must also get involved in this sport. So that's why uh, that was 1990 when I started getting involved with wrestling up to now. 
<laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing what happens here. But the chain man is bothering me. I'm so scared. The dirty angel. Oh, the dirty angel, the dirty angel. Okay. But who are restless when they are at home? Let us see this insert. Babies. This is actually the very first time I'm saying this to anybody, but in in my business and at home and that I try to be try to, um, um, pretty uh, much a perfectionist. I try to be very meticulous in what I do. But um, one of the reasons I wrestle is that is where I can just blow my mind. Um. I can let steam off from that. I can't let steam off from that with customers. I can't let steam off with my family. Yeah. And it's nice in that, especially where you are like in a rut and that where you are very meticulous and um, everything must be done to plan and that you can get into a wrestling ring and that there's no rules and anything goes. Mm -hmm. And that is where you come with a different personality. Mm -hmm. You get frustrated with your friends, you get frustrated with your customers, you, you get frustrated out, like, with the lady of the way. house and the, and the easiest way to take it out. <laughs> <Then someone else. laughs> the easiest person to take it out is with uh, the wrestlers because the wrestlers are big and tough, you know. Uh -huh. I'm a wrestler, I'm big and tough in that. <laughs> and um, I've come to a situation where at this stage, I want to see how tough the other wrestlers really are. Mm -hmm. And they aren't as tough as they think. I mean, what they say. Yeah. Once I've got my chain in my hand, and then nobody's tough. Okay, it's going to. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he's um, in the ring. He's dirty angel. He's a uh, different person, even with his kids. Uh -huh. Even with the kids, the kids come mustn't come near them, him, and you know he's a different person. Uh -huh. uh, but he's, if he's at home, he's the gentle father and you know the loving person. Uh -huh. and stuff like that. He's, he's very nice at home. Different person. Before we are treated to some wrestling, let's hear from some of the wrestlers in the audience. What are the highs and what are the lows? But before that, I want to talk to the little ones. Who wants to be a wrestler here? You all want to be wrestlers? Yes. Yeah? yeah. Why? Who's the most talkative? Who's the most talkative here? Oh. Viprat Baya. <laughs> Who talks a lot? Show me. You talk, you look like you talk a lot. Why do you want to be a wrestler? I want to be a wrestler because then I can get fit and now I know a couple of tricks. Thank you. So it is about tricks. <laughs> it's not the real thing. True or false? You Paul, technique. He, it's technique. Yeah, you meant technique, not tricks. It's, it's, you meant technique. Yeah, you meant techniques, a lot of techniques into it. But really, do you really throw someone down? That's right, yes. Does it really hurt? Yes, it does. What do we hear when we hear, well, people say it's fake, it's not real? You know, let them come on the ring, we can show them. It's not We're going to see that, I'm going to see. Who believes, in the audience, who says it's fake? Yeah, really. You say it's fake. Okay, he says it's fake. You want to show him then? We're going to show him that it's real. Okay. <laughs> It's, <laughs> wait a minute, who wants to go and show that guy that it's, are you willing to go into the ring? Okay, okay. Come on, go in the ring, let's see, is it real? Who's going to take him on? Oops, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. He says it's fake. Can someone go and show him that it's not fake? Danny can fat him. We're going to pray for you. <laughs> Don't worry. Okay, Danny. He says it's not real. And you say it's real. Shh. Let's see. Don't hurt him now. I don't have insurance. Let him get into the top. Another one, Donnie. Get 
anybody else? Danny? Wait, 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 wait. I don't have insurance. Is this guy okay? Honey, are you okay? Oh, you know. Here we go. Vuga win. Are you okay? Is this here? <laughs> so you'll never ch challenge them again? He says no. Who? Yo, I'm fine. Wait, talk about it. Talk about it. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm all right, but, uh, well, I'd just like to tell everybody this is not really a fake. It's flipping sore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you scared. All right. Hey, all I want to tell you, I don't have insurance. That's all. And the SABC does not have insurance. Yeah, it's at your own risk you go into that ring. Can I ask a few questions before I go there? Let me ask, Paul. Yeah. Why did you bring WrestleMania to this country? Or rather, not to this country, but why are you such a big promoter? This is scary stuff. You guys still want to go and do that after what you saw? No. <laughs> <laughs> I say no, no. You sure? Yes. No, huh? I think it's scary. Paul. Well, Felicia, well, it's it's common sense. Uh, it's a combination of sport. Athletics, showbiz, glitter, and it's a hell of a money-making scheme. <laughs> and that's why I'm doing it. Huh. Oh, boy. They... <laughs> and they call you the Pink Panther. Why do they call you Pink Panther? Well, as you can see, I only wear pink. Hey, women wear pink, man. Why? All right. Where does it stand written? There's no rule book that says women must wear pink. I guess you're right. I'm wearing <laughs> navy blue. <laughs> How did I get dirty? I was not wrestling. <laughs> well, I got the name. When I was born, my mother and them were expecting a girl. And everything bought for me was pink. Pink booties, pink cot, pink brand. <laughs> and uh, I was born in Wales, and we were very poor. And my mother and them, when they, when they got the son, which was a hell of a bad, disappointed for them, uh, they couldn't go and change everything. And uh, I grew up with pink. And through the years, I just started liking pink, because if I had a choice, I'd always go for pink. As we saw in the insert, you love and, pink. Oh, you can see my house is pink, my car is pink, everything I own is pink. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, my initials is PP, Philip Paul. <laughs> he says your girlfriend is also pink. <laughs> <laughs> and if she's been in the sun too long. Okay. <laughs> After the break, we're going to find out who's going to take on who. What you saw there was nothing. After the break. <laughs> in Nigeria, for instance, wrestling. It is ordained by the forefathers that if you are a good wrestler, you will win the love of a beautiful bride. True or false? It's true. Felicia, it's true. So the girl's always looking for guys who have muscle like you, huh? That's true. Oh, <laughs> you even wrote it on your... What? Black Bullet is even written on your... Your my biceps arms, there. Yeah, I can biceps, see that. Yeah. Let's see. So how many wives did you end up getting? No, I haven't married yet, Felicia. Oh, so you're looking out there? I'm single now. Oh, any, you want to make some requests out there? Uh, not yet. Not yet? Uh, okay. When time comes, I will let you know. Oh. <laughs> well, but is it true that they encourage you to wrestle because strong men will get the best women? Uh, not about that, but uh, it's good for man to be strong, you know? Mm -hmm. When you go outside, people love you, people like you, that they know that you are strong. So the woman needs to feel protected. Yeah, huh? that's another one. Yeah. <laughs> because women, they always like protect. And I bet you the woman who, who can go out with a guy looking like this starts being really bullish. She starts messing around with everybody there and she, because she knows you're going to protect him. But you know what? I'd like to see a little bit of wrestling there. Terry and Sunny Surf, let's see a few little tricks. Show me a few little tricks there. Sunny, check.
Hey, Roman. Sadisef, you cannot be beaten by a guy from France. Come on now. Show th- get back. Get back. Get back. Come on, Sunny. Get back. Hey, come on. Take your surfboard. Take your Give him a hand, shake hands. Who? In... In that case, who won? No, nobody won, Felicia. It's a draw. Uh, uh, no, I won't say it's a draw, but I'd, I'd say Terry got the upper hand there. Uh, he got in with quicker, cleaner grips, and he did cleaner throws, and uh, I think he outthought Sonny there. <laughs> Why are we allowing all this fight? That's fighting. It's a way of life. <laughs> oh. But um, let me have another demonstration there by v- Visa, Danny and V. Wolfman. Danny and the Wolfman. Yeah. Where are they? Yay, let's see. Danny is ranked 12th in the world, is that it? Wow, <laughs> that that's kind of high. That is that is in the, on the on the on the European circuit. He's actually the current CWA world champion, which is a different wrestling body. There's a lot of different bodies, like in boxing, the WBO, WBC. There's the WWF wrestling, the WCW, the CWA, the IWF. Uh, Donnie's in the international wrestling. He's 12th, but at the CWA, he is the world champion. I mean. While we're still talking about the champions, and Mark Robinson is ranked what in the world? No, he is actually the world sumo champion wrestler. In South Africa? In the whole world. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. But Mark is not that big. I mean, the sumo wrestlers are this big. <laughs> <laughs> Can you stand up? Let me see. He is not big, honey. Where's that stomach that's supposed to come here? big guys to and threw them on the floor? Well, I think that uh, traditionally the, the, the traditional sumos are really heavy big guys, but uh, back in the, the late 80s and early 90s, there was a, a grand champion in Japan. His name was Chinna Fuji. He kind of broke that mold. He weighed about 125 kilos. He was 5 foot 11, and he took on these big heavy guys and beat them because I think, as I said, traditionally the sumo wrestlers relied on, on bulk and size That's right. to get their opponents out of the ring where he started weight training and um, used his explosive power and technique and speed to dispatch his opponents. <laughs> Why are we still at this? Your diet. You eat two chickens and what again? Give, give me your diet. Well, I'm on a light diet. When it's light, I eat. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> what do you eat? I heard the stuff about what you eat. Well, you know, basically I eat uh, five small meals a day. Um, so I, I, I try and keep my metabolism speeded up by eating small meals throughout the day. We eat two owners. Somebody eats two, <laughs> two chickens. The wolf does. Okay. Let's see. You. Come on, wolf. Let's see. I still want to know why they boo you, Wolf, but we'll talk about it. I want to know it too. Oh! <laughs> okay, come on, take him. Wait, 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 wait. Let's hear. You are? We now make a demonstration uh. about the most important thing you have to uh, know when you want to be a, uh, become a professional wrestler. It is how to fall without getting injured. And it takes a few years, and you must be very hard to stand this. All right.
do that when we fight at school? <laughs> Mama's boy. He's a wishy. Yeah, yeah. Out. Come, what happened? He's a wishy. Climbed out of a ring without fighting further. Hey, was scared, huh? Yeah. Hey, I was, I'll run Can away too. Scream? I'll run away too. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Wait, what? What, honey? That wolf. The wolf? What happened to the wolf? He was very scared. Oh. To lay in the ground. Uh -huh. In the crowd. Can you do things like that? No. So why you, why, I would be scared too. Aren't you scared for the wolf? Yes, but... Mm. <laughs> you shouldn't run away. Yeah. OK. He's, He's a bad loser. Huh? He's a bad loser. He's a bad loser? Yeah. yeah. You guys like to see this kind of stuff? Yes. Yeah. Ooh. South Africa has only been back in the world wrestling since 1991. Already we have had some notable wins, as you heard me say earlier. Can we expect this trend to continue? Where's wrestling going? Uh, wrestling is moving forward. We just had three African champions, and we are preparing for the world championships later this year in uh, Krasnask in uh, Siberia. And in Poland, uh, the amateur wrestling is moving very fast, and I think our wrestlers are preparing quite well. Any comments from the audience? Felicia, yeah. Are you mic'd up? Yeah. Can I speak Afrikaans? Yeah, you can speak Afrikaans. But I understand Afrikaans. I speak a bit Afrikaans. That's all correct. I speak a bit Afrikaans. Come on, so you see, in all the years where there was a lot of money for people from overseas, af, the stoeiers is the only sport that has free access to the whole world market. Mm -hmm. Stoei is a sport for men. It is a sport for young men. It is a sport for groot men. And I think that Stoei has never been basis for sukkel with boycott and such a good thing. How does professional wrestling differ from amateur wrestling? Felicia, there's a lot of difference. Um, I regard amateur wrestling as basically the grassroots of wrestling. I mean, all our top wrestlers in South Africa, Dani Fuchus. Danny Brits, uh, Dirty Angel, Roya Scutsia, Sunny Surf, they were all amateur wrestlers. They all started when they were in. It's in their life. Uh, they grew up with the sport. Uh, you know, it's the weighing in and the tournaments and the bringing out down of weight and that. But you can only go so far in an amateur sport. And then, like any sport, money makes the world go round. Then you've got to turn to professional wrestling. Mm -hmm. And to be a good professional wrestler, you've got to have a good amateur background. You've also got to have a bit of showmanship in you, and you've got to be out and entertain people. Whether you're a little bit hurt, a little bit sore, you've got to go out there night after night and give the best show of your life. Talking about showmanship, I mean, you, <coughs> Dirty Angel, I think, tops the group in terms of showmanship. Dirty Angel, are we going to be seeing a little bit of, are we going to be seeing Dirty Angel in action? Not today. Hey, man, I like his gimmicks. <laughs> <laughs> Show me a little bit of your gimmicks again, Dirty Angel. I can't show you my gimmicks now. If we're alone, I'll show you a few gimmicks. He's a guy, Jackie. I'm scared of Dirty Angel. But after the break, we'll continue a little bit more to find out a little bit more. What is exciting, especially women? Why do women run to this? I mean, I'm running away. As the, they fall onto that canvas, I cannot take it. I'm running away. But we're finding a lot of women really attracted to wrestling, especially sumo wrestlers. We're going to see a little bit of amateur wrestling here, but before that, you were saying during the break, the difference is what? Felicia, yeah, this is a professional wrestling ring. Amateur wrestling is done on a flat mat, flat on the ground with a 12 meter circle with a danger zone in it. And these are South African champions? Yes, they apparently they're twin brothers and they're both South African champions, yeah. Oh, boy. Okay, 
Let's see it. Okay, get on. Stoy. Don't make it fall out of the ring. Gabriel. Hey, give me ballroom dancing anytime. <laughs> You know, as I said in, during the break, when my child play or children play tennis, I'm in tears and I'm scared I'm running away. I wonder, what, what does your mom do when you start wrestling at this? Does she get worried? Uh, my mom, sometimes she gets worried and she, um, something, sometimes she um, eats nothing when you wrestle. <laughs> she gets, she goes on a diet. And my mom's nervous or almost or always. Um, gone, so. Oh, I know you're tired. Um, but uh, do you find that you end up when he, you, you wrestle with each other and he wins or you win, do you find that you're a little upset with each other as little brothers? You end up hate each other? No. But you feel envious if the other one wins? No, because we are twin brothers, we like one another. Oh. <laughs> What techniques do they use to make sure that someone does not get hurt? I mean, we hear things like the styles are grabblers, brawlers, high flyers. I'm not sure what all that means. Uh, how do you do it? Uh, Felicia, we'll show you the different styles of wrestling. Each wrestler's got his own style. If he's a grappler, he does a lot of grips and counter grips. If he's a brawler, he kicks and he punches a lot. Uh, if he's a high flyer, he does a lot of moves off the top rope. But before we go to that, I'll just show you a few techniques how we teach guys to look after themselves in the ring so that they don't get hurt and they don't have major uh, operations and breakages. But do peop have people gotten hurt? Have people... Terry Madai over there, if you can stand up, you can see he's just had a back operation about a year ago. Terry, stand up there, show them. Terry, and you're going back again? Yeah, sure. He's... Oh, Munir, is new. It's a hard job, but somebody must do it. Somebody must do it. But let's see some of the techniques to help people prevent themselves from getting hurt. I think that is what I'm worried about. And I think that's what everybody at home says. How can anyone be dropped on their back like that and not fall? While you're getting ready for that, let me ask the women. Why do you guys want to go and watch wrestling? And how do you feel about wrestlers? Come on, which women are going to talk to me? You look like you're going to talk. You like Some women like vicious men. That's what I like, wrestlers. And you? Oh, well, my father's a wrestler, so I watch it because mm. he wrestles. Mm. Let's hear some more women. Some more women. Can I get some more women out there talking about how they feel about wrestling? Is that your lady? Better answer that one. Ooh, easy. I'm the lady. You the lady. Now tell me, his arm is just as big as you are already. <laughs> <laughs> how do you handle it? Re wrestling, you have to look at it as a sport. Otherwise, if you see blood or anything like that, you will go nuts. Do we ever get blood, coming to think of it? Can you get yes. a close-up of my head? A close-up of your head? Yeah, let's see. Where's it, what happened? This is all scar tissue from wrestling. Yeah. I've wrestled in 18 different countries throughout the world in 11 years. Mm -hmm. And I've been in every various type of match that you can dream of, between cages, Put up around the ring, rings wrapped in uh, barbed wire, fire, you name it, I've been in every type of match that's imaginable. <laughs> and because of that stuff, I've got a lot of scar tissue on my forehead, and it's often being busted open by the steel post outside, chairs, people bringing foreign objects into the ring. Mm. Ladies' shoes. Ladies' shoes. Ladies shoes. <laughs> <laughs> when does he wrestle well with you? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, who 
<laughs> she always wins. Felicia, believe me, she, al she always wins. She always wins. <laughs> Much safer that way. I don't know what you guys are thinking of. Okay, show us some techniques there. Uh, tell me a little bit more. The techniques that you're going to show us are aimed, obviously, at making people not get hurt. Another question I have is, why do they take on a persona? I mean, we hear things of, like, uh, out, the outlaw, speed cop, dirty angel. Why do they take on, on those names? Um, wrestlers have an image. I mean, like Dirty Angel. He lives his image to the full. Uh, in and out the ring, he's a bad guy all the way. And that's him, yes. <laughs> And, and you've got to live your part. Uh, uh, it's a way of life, really. And the personas actually fit their images a lot. Okay, let's hear now about the techniques. Okay, the techniques. When a guy joins us, uh, we start teaching to wrestle. First of all, you'll notice this is a hard mat. It's got one inch of sponge on, but the rest is plain wood, and it's very hard, as uh, our one gentleman friend there can vouch for. But now we're going to let Sunny Surf show you. When, we, when a wrestler starts, we teach him how to fall. The, the impact, the shock has got to be absorbed with his whole body so he tries to get down as much of his body and his shoulders on the mat when he's thrown just uh, show us the back yeah top now that's only falling from about four foot high but let's really show you how bad it is get right to the top rope let me say before children at home don't try this <laughs> Now we're going to show you a couple of grips that we're going to do just to show you why you have to fall. Donny, show us a, a long supply. <laughs> Who's going to volunteer? Come on, Prince. <laughs> yeah, just watch my lights there. That's I'm right. not worried about you, I'm worried about the lights. <laughs> Right. Now, a lot of you people will say, this mat is soft. But just to show you it's not, Donnie, just come here. And just, uh, Prince, I need you outside for a moment. Imagine, John, John, why do you take you off? Huh? Just uh, sla slamming me on the, this is concrete, solid concrete. No, don't, no, no, I don't. Hey, no, don't throw him on the floor. <laughs> Just to show you, the wrestlers are athletes. They're highly trained. They don't only fall in the ring, they can fall on the concrete and anywhere else that happens. But please, don't try that because it takes a lot of time to learn the right techniques. To be a good wrestler, it's no good knowing how to do a grip, but you must also know how to get out of a grip. Spider, we're gonna show, show them now some of the grips that you, arm locks, arm drags, whatever you want to. Just on the, it's a, basically it's an arm lock. That's just a plain arm lock. Uh, doesn't look like it, there's anything, but uh, there's a lot of pressure on his elbow and his upper arm. Now, if you've got a wrestler there, you can stay there all night. So your wrestler has to know counter grips. So now we're going to teach you some counter grips from there. Okay, that's a full Nelson. And he comes out of it and he goes back behind into a full Nelson. He's got a hammer lock on there. So when he does... And Teddy switches it, and then to get out of it, he just retaliates. When he does this, does it mean he says, hey, I'm hurting now? Uh, well, it's basically just to relieve the pressure so that he can get into it. When, when your arms twist or anything, you just move into a better position to, to relieve the pain and to be in a more comfortable position so that you can do a counter Hey, okay, he clapped him or something. Was that a real clap? You ask him. I'm sure it was. <laughs> was it? That's, a, that's called a dirty trick. A dirty trick. Uh, a giant warrior knows all of them. Okay. Um, giant warrior, uh, one of your famous moves that basically made you a world champion. Um, I think you're one of the few wrestlers in South Africa to do it. It's called the power bomb. Um, it's a hard trick. <laughs> Is there any volunteers? Hey, Prince, Prince if you I were you, I would not go. I want to show my brother that I'm strong also. Oh! Really? Yeah.
one thing else I'd like to say, Felicia, while we're on it. We've only got a very limited number of black wrestlers in South Africa. Yeah. It's not a white I sport. I don't blame them for running away. <laughs> no, it's, it's really, it's, it's not only a, a, a white dominated sport. We'd like to see a lot more of them. We've got the Prince of Africa here from Zimbabwe. We've got Black Bullet from Nigeria. There is a lot of locals out there. We ask them to come forward. Contact us. We'll teach them. We'll make superstars out of them. But they must come forward. They must show an interest. And then we can help them. They've got to start on grassroots. They've got to go to the amateur clubs. They've got to wrestle at amateur clubs. Once the amateur clubs have gone far enough, we'll contact them and we will make wrestlers You're out of them. You're already in Alexander and Soweto though, aren't you? Uh, the amateur clubs are there, yes. They have started there. Okay. Well, as I said, I, I get thrown around like that. And I mean, an African man or any man, I would stay away from it. But after the break, we'll find out a, bit, a little bit more about wrestling because I also hear that you have uh, midgets who wrestle. Sumo wrestler. Well, in the professional ranks, they probably the average height is about 6'2", and they weigh <laughs> in between anything from 300 to 350 pounds. I'm going to ask a personal question. You guys wear a towel, you know, a layer, like a napkin. <laughs> Does it protect you well? You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> well, it's actually called a, a mawashi, um, a, a giant G-string. Mm -hmm. um, basically, it's a canvas material made out of like a, a judo suit. Mm -hmm. And yes, it's, it's similar. It gives you quite a lot of support, like, like a lifting belt. Um, so it's very supportive and uh, it holds you all in pretty tight, yeah. Mm, holds you all in. In English, <laughs> you what, you what? In English, they call it a fan bell. A fan bell. <laughs> Pete Nell, you wrestle. Come and stand here and talk to me. Come and talk to me. Yeah, stand right up, you. He says so. I am straight up. You straight up, huh? Yeah. You just vertically challenged. That's right, yeah. <laughs> you. You wrestle, but why would you go into the sport? Well, it's very interesting and it's nice to get hurt sometimes. <laughs> who, who are you going to challenge? Uh, I want to challenge Mighty Michael. Mighty Michael? Come on, Mighty Michael. Come on, let's go and see you. Now, how do you get into the ring? Uh, we actually have chairs, but I'll ask Giant Warrior to pick me. <laughs> Giant Warrior? Oh, no. <laughs> He says, he says, oh no. He can work with my weight. He can, he can work with your weight. No. Giant warrior. You started. Just a step in my foot. Don't yell me That falls under what now? Wrestling, but uh, it's basically midget, professional wrestling. Professional midget uh, yeah. division. Uh, it's, basically, it's basically just a, a, a sideshow for us, really. We, we use the midget. It draws a lot of people. They don't take big falls in it like we do. Uh, because they're short, obviously. <laughs> obvious. <laughs> um, but, but, but also, the, you know, they, they, they don't, they, they physically, they don't come off the top ropes and that. But they wrestle, they're there for a show for the kids, basically. They, they're very popular amongst the kids. <laughs>
Last words there. In closing, any comments? Olympic wrestling have started several clubs now and actions in the black townships. And we are waiting for the people in the townships to come and to be prepared for Olympic wrestling. Now, we are looking forward to these people uh, to be coached as coaches, as officials, and as wrestlers. And we have also, as you can see, uh, Danny Brits, uh, Danny Fuges. They all come from the amateur wrestling or Olympic wrestling. The WW, what's it called again? The, the WWF, the American oh, the wrestling. The WWF, yeah. How come they're not on it? Ask Mr. Brits. Mr. Brits? <coughs> How come? That's fine. Felicia, everybody in South Africa and overseas see Shawn Michaels as a as a world champ, okay, he's a world champ, and he's a superstar overseas, he's a superstar in South Africa. Who's that? Shawn Michaels okay. from WWF. I will challenge Shawn Michaels anytime, any day, any place. But we never get, got the opportunity really to go into WWF, of course, that's completely different to us. It's the same wrestling, but they just don't want to wrestle against us, and I think because like myself, Danny Fuchers, we're all ex Primark amateurs. And because of that background, that's why I think I don't want to wrestle against us. Mm. You think he can beat him, huh? Yep. Yes. 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 I have to see that. He better take on the channel challenge. Where? Oh, you want to talk? Oh, come and talk. Are you going to talk? Here. I don't think that Donny Brits can beat Shawn Michaels and Tommy Jones. <laughs> you don't think he can beat him? Uh? You like Shawn, Shawn Michaels? Very much. Yes. He's your favorite wrestler? Oh, um, no. Who's your favorite wrestler? Bret Hart. Oh. <laughs> Babes. Anyway, in closing, last 30 seconds. Well, Felicia, I just want to say, he says uh, Donnie won't beat Shawn Michaels. I'll make it an official challenge. Let the WWF bring six of their best. All stars will put the South Africans six of their best. And we'll have a tournament and we'll really see who is the best. Well, that challenge was made on this show. WWF, take on them and show them who's the boss. Well, we hope that tonight's program has given you a better understanding of why people pursue this spectacular sport. Good night and thanks for tuning in. Billion viewers each week. The World Wrestling Federation. In